shall receive in the kingdom. So we're going to use this scripture to prove a point here as well. Okay. Um, because let's get the picture of these guys up. Now these are the, this is them. You know, we're going to use this scripture here before we end it off to um, ultimately uh, cut the mindset that they're in to show you that it's a very ungodly mindset. Okay, Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter, all right, in the first verse it says, For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright, yeah, they're wrong. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither is there any man known to have returned from the grave. All right, now, these are those who deny Yahweh's resurrection, but as we continue to go down, we're going to get more about their mindset. For we are born at all adventure. And we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For in the breath in our nostrils is as a smoke and a little spark moving of our, of our heart. All right. Which being extinguished, our bodies shall turn into ashes. All right. And our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Now, this right here is a problem. This is a mindset of the ungodly. They're just saying we die, turn into ashes. No, you die and return unto the earth. And you literally return unto the earth. You're fertilizer. Right? And the spirit vanishes. As so, no, the spirit returns unto the Most High who gave it. Okay? And our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Well, the scripture says otherwise. Though your name could be forgotten, you will be remembered by the Heavenly Father, and you will pay. All right? For your works. All right, we uh, brought that out in the last video I did. Let's go to Jeremiah, the 18th chapter. Okay. Because you have plenty of people who died well off, and after they've done a whole bunch of wickedness, will, will they ever pay? All right, you have people who died, all right, who really, really, you know, wanted the kingdom of heaven. Okay. But how are they all going to get their reward? All right, both righteous and wicked. Well, through the children. Because you are your forefathers. You are your children. All right, but this is how it goes. Jeremiah 32 and 18. Jeremiah 32 and 18. Thou showest love kindness unto thousand and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty, the God, the Lord of hosts is his name. All right, so three or four generations down the line, okay, as we can read in Exodus 20, those spirits, the iniquity of the father is rewarded into the bosom of their children after them because we are our forefathers. We are even paying for the sins of our fathers. That's in the book of Lamentations. All right. Um, let's see here. Exodus 20 and 5, and thou shalt not bow thyself down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right, these are those same spirits returning unto the earth. Okay, going back to wisdom of Solomon. Okay, it says, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. And our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, all right, <laughs> and shall be dispersed as a mist, meaning the spirit just disappears. And this is an ungodly mindset that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof, all right? For our time um, is a very shadow that passes away, and after our end there is no returning, for it is fast sealed that no man cometh again. All right. Now, whose mindset is this? This is the ungodly reasoning with themselves, but not a right. So by default, you are ungodly men. You guys are ungodly men. All right. Now that we're living in grace, you have time to repent and stop being so proud. But we know you're not. And then when you look at the page, they got videos on, you know, how, you know, the marriage roles and all of these various different things. Look, we're not in those times, man. OK, the, the, the ultimately. We're supposed to be prophesying and teaching our people what, what's to come. All right.
right now in the kingdom, marriages and all of those various different things, partying, we're going to have all of that. All right. But we're not in the time to be focusing in on marriage and all of that stuff. But that's what, you know, but that's, you know, you guys' belly. Okay. It's you guys' belly, man. Okay. And you wanted to uh, break off. All right. Because I remember you all. Because I believe you and uh, uh, Adam Abbott visited the apostles and elders. But then you started following Zabak. Now you broke off from them and broke broke off from everybody. Now you're on your own, doing your own thing, teaching uh, 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 off doctrine, man. And to prove that spirits return, I'm going to get this and I'm going to leave it alone. And, if, you know, if it comes back up, we, uh, you know, of course, we're going to defend the gospel. Okay. I had stuff in Job, but, you know, the point was made. Um, this is Paul, right? First Timothy's one and fifteen. It says, "This I know is that they which are in Asia be turned away from me, whom are of Phygellus and Hermo Hermogenes." All right, they left him. All right, basically, when he was catching hell, you know, they they stopped following him. Right? Now watch this. It says, "The Lord." Give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. Because when he started catching hell, getting in prison, you had people say, this is too much. You know, what if I lose my family? You know what? I'm not following Paul no more. But you had those who helped him in his afflictions and, and stayed faithful to him. All right. Now watch this. It says, but when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. All right, Onesiphorus. And he was a good friend of Paul while he was catching hell in Rome, right? But watch what he says here. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day. Wait a minute. <laughs> what day? What day? 70 AD? No, he's talking about when the Lord returns that ultimately, because the scriptures say, you who gave uh, 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 the prophets a cup of water, Sure, you receive the reward of a prophet's reward. Let me get that. Oh, damn, I missed it. Up. It's a lock here. <laughs> and we got so many points, man, but you know. Hey, we'll, you know, we, we just go, um, wait, let's see here, Fair choice, Lord. I know it's in like Matthew, the 25th chapter, and we can go on and on and on, man, all right? That's through the spirit, but uh, this is uh, Matthew 10 and 41. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet should receive a prophet's reward. You see, because when the prophets, when the, when the men of the Lord are set up under Yahweh in the kingdom of heaven, that large multitude, okay, who are delivered, they're going to be set up directly under them. Blessed. Okay. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. He that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. So those of you who help the prophets, you're going to get rewarded. Okay, when? In that day. Okay, ultimately. Alright, now you're blessed on this side with things, but the, 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 the mercy is when your Hawashai returns, man. It says, and whosoever shall give drink unto these little ones, unto one of these little ones, a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. And the reward, okay, as Onesiphorus is prayed for by Paul, the reward is this, the Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy in that day. All right, now, is it going to be a whole new spirit created and say, well, this is Onesiphorus? No, when he passed away, his spirit returned to the Heavenly Father. And he returned to the earth. He returned to the earth. All right, until the very last time, man. All right, the very last time.
time, man. Just like the Lord told Ezra, until the number of seeds is filled in you. All right, that final seed, and we believe this is it. As far as us having to come onto the earth and prophesy and get belittled and you know uh, offer up this sacrifice, this is it. But what's next is the reward. Okay, but how is Onesiphorus gonna find mercy in that day? Because he's gonna that spirit is gonna be either here, raised up, doing doing what he did back then, helping the prophets or or whatever he's doing, or he's in the spiritual realm right now and he's gonna be raised up first, man. So I just wanted to go through that, man. Um, any questions, ask on the comment board, man. Shalom.